Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Blessings to you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming on. As you come on, please share. Um, share to Facebook, share to um, Twitter. God bless you. Blessings, Prophetess Allison. Bless you, Jaden. Blessings to each and every one of you, all the way from Los Angeles. Yes, blessings, California. God bless you. Chosen Generation, thank you for joining. Devidra West, bless you. Thank you for joining us. God bless you, uh, Brother Moses. God bless you, Shay. Blessings to you from Boston. Yes, God bless you. Um, Diana, blessings to you. Cynthia Miller, God bless you. Yes, Just Resources, thank you so much for coming on. Nadetta, we appreciate you. Mary, thank you so much. Um, giving a shout out to each and every one of you. Blessings to you, Prophetess Jennifer. God bless you. We love you. Thank you, Ashley. Amen. God bless you, Brenda Beloved. We appreciate you so very much. Um, yes, morning, morning. It is a new day. Amen. A day that we've never seen before, but I tell you, it's a day filled with God's blessings. It's a day filled with miracles. And so we've come to command our morning, to command our day. We determine what uh, we receive, mm -hmm. amen, by what we confess and what we mm -hmm. decree and declare. Amen. As we decree and declare the word of God, he establishes it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. I thank God for this day as well. It's a great day. It's a great day. You are certainly welcome, each and every one of you. As you come on, please share. Please invite your followers. Invite your friends. Amen. Even invite your enemies. Amen. God has something for them as well. God bless you, Natasha. Yes, we are doing well, and thank you for asking. Yes, blessings, blessings. Amen. That's right, Jaden. Be determined. Be determined. Yes. Good morning, Natasha from Dubai. Amen. Yes. Yes. I know that one o'clock was amazing. I tell you, Apostle was, was really on fire. God gave him such revelation <clears throat> about the word. Aviance, God bless you. Michelle, thank you so much. Blessings to you, my daddy's girl. Thank you guys for sharing. It really means a lot to us and it also um, to other people. It gives them an opportunity to connect, not just with the two of us, but with all of us. Amen. Because we are a family and we appreciate each and every one of you. Abigail, thank you so much. We love you as well. Karimu, God bless you. Yes, blessings all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. Yes. Amen. Let's go back up in the spirit. That's right. That's where we want to be. We want to be in the spirit. We want to walk in the spirit. We want to mind the things of the spirit. Deb Company, thank you for joining us. Let us know if this is your first time. We certainly want to um, give you a, um, a welcome. Amen. Hallelujah. Liesl, God bless you. God bless you, Liesl Harrington. We appreciate you. It was good speaking with you today. Debron, we love you. Blessings. We love you too. All the way to London. We send love to London. Yes. And the name of the worship song is um, you, are welcome. you Are Welcome. Mm -hmm. And that's by Psalmist Rain. Yes, refresh worship. Psalmist Rain, you are welcome. Hallelujah. Blessings to you, Karen. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. We're glad that you're here as well. Amen. Queens, New York, via Chicago. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. Yes. God bless you, Chanda. Blessings. Thank you for inviting. Thank you for sharing. Amen. 
It's time to sound the alarm. It's time to awaken and arise. Yes, awaken, arise, and advance. Hello, Prophetess Carlos. Blessings. Amen. We appreciate all the ones from Canada. You guys are such a support, and we appreciate that so very much. Yes, blessings, blessings, blessings. Yes, K. Ray, God bless you, sweetheart. Blessings. Gwen Vincent, thank you so much. You're a longtime supporter. We appreciate you, Gwen. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's go in. Y'all ready to go in? Y'all ready to, to touch heaven? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. God, you're welcome. You're welcome here, God. You're welcome. We admonish you, God. We, we extol you. We magnify you. We adore you. Hallelujah. We lift you up, God, high. We lift you up on high in the name of Jesus. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Have your way, God. Have your way. Have your way. Yes, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Give us just a few more moments, amen. I, I love the worship atmosphere. And yes. uh, sometimes I'm just meditating on God's word, amen. Yes. And um, and just beginning to pray and seek God and Jesus. just uh, just believe in God, amen, to, to have his way in our lives, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, 30 more seconds. Hallelujah. Last time, you are welcome. Are welcome, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are welcome, Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. You're welcome tonight. Glory so we to lift up our Jesus. hearts on one accord and we declare that you are welcome. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way. Amen. Jesus. How many people that's your declaration tonight that we declare that God is welcome? Amen. Amen. I see many of you that are, are connecting and you know I think it's beautiful when people come together and many of you are beginning to develop relationship. God bless yes. you, uh, Alicia Benford Griffin. Amen. Blessings. All the way from Houston, Texas. <laughs> we love you. Thank God for you. Thank God for each and every one of you that's on this tonight. I really believe that when we come together corporately, that yes. there's a power that we do not have individually. Yes. And when we come together corporately to lift up our voices and pray and seek God, then God begins to answer and begins to rain yes. down from heaven. Even as we oh, said hallelujah. last night, he begins to, to drip from heaven. Mm. Amen. That, that, that the heavens begin to drop. The drop. heavens begin yes. to open over your yes. lives and they begin to drop down hallelujah. blessings. They begin to drop down uh, graces and anointings. Mm. And so it's not just yes. about us, even though we're facilitating, it is really the the, the, the collective anointings of all the people Jesus. that are on this scope, amen, and as you are listening, as you are seeking mm -hmm. God, as your hearts are knit together, amen, to seek things from God, it is so valuable when the, when the saints come together in unity, even uh, as the word declared that on the day of Pentecost, when, uh, when the day was fully come, amen, they were all together in one place, God, and they had, you know, they all, all had one thing in common, they had, they had unity, they, they had unity of purpose, they had unity of prayer. They had yes. unity of graces, unity yes. of anointings. Amen. And the heavens began to open. Amen. Even at the Tower of Babel crisis, God, there was, you know, there was a situation where, where, where the people came together. Yes. And the Bible said that God himself said there is nothing that these people are, that they've imagined to do that will not be done by them. Right. And so God had to, 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 to scramble the, uh, 
uh, they had to scramble the language. And so in that instance, he scrambled the language. But in the new instance, in the New Testament, he brought their language all together in yes. one. And so yes. we got to understand that when we come together, there is an anointing that mm. we have collectively, Jesus. again, that we do not have individually, and we become yes. powerful. We become anointed. We become yes. strong. This is why the enemy does not like unity. He does not like us getting together because he understands that God's gang is the biggest gang that there is out there. Amen. Yes. That there is no group of people that are that are stronger. There is nothing yes. that can withhold from the collective church. Amen. And so when we stand together, we believe God to do amazing things. Amen. Thank you for sharing. Thank yes. you for everybody that is sharing. Thank you for everybody that's here. Uh, and so we buy in the freeze tonight. We declare we're not going <laughs> to freeze tonight. We're not going to, the, the yes. broadcast is not going to freeze. Amen. This this broadcast is going forth. And so we bind every demonic cycle yes. and every demonic uh, system that would try to cause the phone to freeze even on your end. It's not freezing on my end, but we declare it's not going to freeze on your end tonight. Amen. Yes. That's what we declare, oh God, tonight. I was looking at a scripture even from earlier. And I begin to look at two scriptures. Again, as I told you earlier, that the first scripture was at the beginning of Jesus' ministry, mm -hmm. and the second one was at the end of Jesus' ministry on earth. Yes. And so when we looked at the first scripture, these two verses of scripture are in Luke chapter 5, probably verse 1 through verse 10. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have uh, the St. John chapter 21, um, and that's probably verse 3 through uh, probably about uh, 8. And so what we see is we see two instances where uh, Peter goes fishing. Mm -hmm. And as Peter is fishing, uh, in the first instance, so let's look at Luke chapter uh, 5 first, and then we're going to pray. I want to I make sure that I preface this with just a small teaching moment. But here Jesus in, in Luke chapter 5, uh, verse 4, and it says, uh, matter of fact, let's go to 3. And it says, he entered into one of, well, let's go to 2. Yes. There we go. And he saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen mm -hmm. were gone out of them and yes. were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon. Uh, Simons and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land and he sat down and taught the people out of the ship and now when he had left speaking he said unto Simon launch out into the deep mm. and let down your nets for yes. a drought and yes. Simon answering said unto him master we have toiled all night mm. and have taken nothing nevertheless at thy word I will let down the net and when they had taken when they had done this they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break amen we declare that tonight yes is a night that you are going to just drop down your net mm. and you're going to begin to receive a net yes. breaking anointing. Amen. I'm telling you <laughs> that God is Jesus. getting ready to cause you to do amazing things that you're getting ready to cause. Uh, you're getting ready to receive so much increase. Amen. If you have a business, it's going to be increased. If you have a marriage, it's going to be increased. The enemy, the way, the reason the enemy has fought you this far and so long and so hard is because he understands that if you ever, if Jesus ever gets in the boat with you, if he ever <laughs> really goes to that place, if he ever commands you to let your net down one more time, you're getting ready to receive yes. the biggest anointing that you, the biggest influx, the biggest increase, the biggest breakthrough, Jesus. the biggest suddenly that you have ever received in your life. Mm. And so tonight we're going to pray for the net breaker anointing. Amen. Yes. We're going to pray that you are so anointed sure. that you break every net. Amen. Every, and the net symbolizes your capacity to be able to hold the increase of God. Mm. It is not just, it is not just the net. You had to look beyond the net. The net symbolizes that which you are, which you are holding the increase of God yes. with. Amen. And so whatever you're holding, if it's a if it's a bank, you got a bank breaking anointing. Amen. <laughs> and I'm telling you yes. that tonight I feel Jesus. an anointing for God that when we pray and when we believe God in, in this thing together that your nets are going to break. That you're going to receive so much increase. Some of you have, have been have been you know you've been fishing and you've been fishing with a hook and you've been catching one fish here and one fish there. But my God you're getting ready to have a net breaking anointing tonight. <laughs> so this was at the beginning of Jesus's ministry. Then there's another scenario at the end of Jesus's ministry in John chapter 21. In John chapter 21, Peter goes fishing again. Jesus is gone. He believes that they, they, they won't know that, you know, they think that the master's gone. He's not coming back. So Peter says, listen, I'm returning back to what I know. I'm going right. back to the things that I'm familiar with. Mm. And as he goes back to the things wow. that he's familiar wow. with, all of a sudden, God comes walking and Jesus comes walking to be able to show him that the same 
same thing that I called you to do in the beginning is the same thing that I'm calling you to do now. Yes. My assignment for your life has not changed. And so here he goes again. The Bible says in verse 3, uh, and, and, uh, and so all of a sudden it says, Simon Peter said unto them, I go fishing. And they said unto him, we also go with thee. They went forth and entered into a ship mm. immediately. And they, that night they caught nothing. But when the morning was now come, mm. amen, and I know you've been toiling all night like the first Jesus. time. I know you've been fishing all night. I know you've been trying to do it your way. I know you've been fighting with everything that you had to make this thing come Jesus. to pass, to make the marriage come to pass, amen, to make the finances come to pass, to make the ministry grow, to make the church grow, to make all the things grow. Mm. That pertain to it, Come but on. I'm telling you, Jesus. you're getting ready to have a visitation from Jesus, and during this visitation, he's getting ready to tell you to drop your nets one more time, amen, Jesus. and so here it is, G Peter tells him again, we've told all night, master, but we have caught nothing, and so all of a sudden, Jesus oh, said unto them, children, have you any meat, and they answered him, no, and he said to them, cast the net on the right side the of right the ship, side. and ye shall find, right Jesus side. knows, and mm. all it's going to take is you to be able to understand and get one direction from God, Jesus, to be able to tell you yes. one instruction from you you're one instruction away amen from your net breaking you're one instruction mm. away amen from connecting with Jesus Lord, and you can, Jesus yes. is connecting with you and telling you where the where the where the meat is going to be amen where amen the fish is going to be where are they where are they you got to ask Jesus this God where are the fish what is the thing that I need to do what's my last instruction and it, it's not going to be easy yes they toiled all night long it's the yes. morning if you've ever stayed up all night long working and fishing and fishing was not easy because they were casting the nets and they were casting them and they were casting them and they were fishing Jesus. and so they stayed up all night long and they were tired. Amen. They were tired. They had given mm. out their strength but my God you got little strength left but yes. when Jesus tells you to cast on the right side yes. it's time for you to cast and when you cast this yes. time the scripture says uh, and, 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 and they cast therefore and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. Mm. Therefore that disciple whom Jesus led, loved said unto to Peter, it is the Lord. Now, when Simon Peter uh, heard that it was the Lord, he girded his fish's coat upon him, for he was naked and did cast himself into the sea. And the other disciples came in a little ship, for they were not far from land, but it were 200 cubits dragging the net with fishes. And so, God says, You're getting ready to have to, you get ready to cast your net, and you're going to ask God. Let me say you something. You, you're asking God during this prayer tonight for instruction. instruction. You want instruction right. on where, right. where the fish are. Where is your increase where is the place God where do you want me to drop this net God I've been fishing on the left side of the ship I've been fishing on the front of the ship I've been fishing in the back of the ship I've thrown the net everywhere I know to throw it now show me God where to throw this net so that in the name of Jesus, Jesus. I receive my breakthrough Jesus. I bind every devil and every assignment from hell that's been stopping Ooh, your breakthrough and stopping you from receiving the instruction of God if you'll Almost get in his presence tonight yes. and yes. seek him tonight like you never have before for, and even as that song enter into his presence and say, God, you are welcome in my life, in my situation, in my marriage. I'm not going to do it myself, but God, I'm asking you where my increase is. And when you begin to ask God where his increase is and where should you drop your nets, because this is the time and the season of sudden increase. Yes, they had yes. searched all night and I don't know how long they had been out there. I don't know what time they started fishing. Amen. But here it is in the morning Jesus, and it's a time Jesus, where they didn't even Jesus. recognize that it was My Jesus God. coming, but he says, cast your net on the right side, and when they cast it on the right side, all of a sudden, I'm telling you, one, one instruction away, one cast of your net away, mm. one throw of the net away from, from breaking yes. your nets, and yes. I'm telling yes. you, it's your net breaking My season, God. and Come so on. we release that unto you Lord now, an anointing for breaking nets, are you listening to me? You're getting ready to catch, this, this message is even prophetic for us, we're getting ready to catch, we went over a thousand people in four days, now some people may say, that's not a lot, but we've only been doing these periscopes for 70 days now, and so now here they are. It's it's packed, and so I believe that God is releasing a net breaking yes, anointing yes. that increases our portion. And so we we bind lack, amen. We bind, oh God, not having enough, and Jesus. we say that it's our overflow season. That it is the time when God Jesus. is releasing overflow into our life in the name of Lord, Jesus. And God, that. if you're doing it for us, you'll do it for them. And so I release an anointing mm. to break nets. Mm. I release an anointing to night, God, by the apostolic authority that Jesus. you have given us from heaven, and God, the prophetic authority that you've given us from heaven, Jesus. and God, even from the anointing that you've given us, oh, Heavenly Father, even in unity, God, because when we come together and we decree together yes. and declare yes. together, yes. all of a yes. sudden, there is an anointing to break nets, and so we stand Jesus. in agreement. God, all 
of us, all 300 of us, all 350 of us tonight, and those who will watch this after this broadcast, and those that are sharing right now, because you know somebody who needs this broadcast, and so you're sharing right now, you're hitting the share button, because somebody needs to have an anointing, God. amen, for breakthrough. Somebody needs to receive an anointing that breaks nets. And so, Father, we thank you tonight, God, that you are moving by your spirit and moving by your power, that these, your sons and your daughters are breaking nets. God, they're breaking the bank. God, the bank is calling for them and asking them, where did they get so much money? Where are you getting that money from? You got so many vehicles in your yard that people want to know if you have a car dealership. I'm telling you, it's your time and your season for overflow. You got multiple streams of increase, multiple streams. Amen. I'm telling you, fish was a symbol of provision and yes. it was a symbol of money in those days. They went and caught fish and then they were able to sell the fish. Not only did they eat, they had enough to eat and they had enough to sell and they yes. had enough to yes. give their friends. And so I pray tonight that God not only gives you enough for you to be able to eat and to be able to be subsistence, but God in the name of Jesus caused them Jesus. to have a net breaking anointing, have them to be able to catch so much that they don't even have room enough to receive what you have for them. Ooh. Father, we release that anointing tonight and we declare God that your strength, that your anointing, that your power is upon them. God, it is their season, God, for increase. It's their season for expansion. It's their season, oh God, for overflow. It's their season now. And Father, release it unto them in the name of Jesus. Jesus Father, Jesus, I declare Jesus, now that everything Jesus. that's been holding up their overflow, everything that's been holding up their break loose, everything that's been holding up, God, them be being able to receive, God, their mega, God, their increase, God, their season, oh God, of recovery, God, their season of reset. Father, I pray Jesus. now in the name of Jesus that expansion, God, is their portion. And God, that everything that's holding it up be bound now in Jesus' name. Father, we declare that this is their season in Jesus' name. Glory Hallelujah. To God. I just hear the Lord said that trust in him with all of your heart and don't lean to your own understanding, but in all of your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. He will lead you and guide you in the way that you should go. He will give you the instruction. He will give you secrets. He will give you hidden things. He will give you Brilliant a greater things. understanding yes. in the name of Jesus, because what God is about to do in your life is not just going to affect you, but it's going to affect people all around the world. It's going to affect your community. It's going to affect the state. It's going to affect global Globally, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. And even for you that are leaders and in, in, in ministry and um, have churches and, and even parachurches and God is sending people from the north, the south, the east and the west. Even as you seek God, as you seek his ways, as you seek his heart and to hear him and have your ear on his bosom, that you will be able to hear his voice and a stranger's voice. You will not follow because many times we've been used to doing things a certain way. Here was Peter. He was a professional. He knew the art of fishing. He he mm. understood the process of fishing. He knew what type of fish that he was after. He knew where they usually would be. Amen. The schools of fish. He knew all of those things. This, he was not a novice in this thing. But there comes a time when you can't trust in your own ideas. You can't trust in your own past experiences. You can't trust even in your education. You can't trust in what you've known. You've got to get a fresh revelation from God. You've got to seek him with all of your heart and say, God, what it is. Nevertheless, I know, I know that I know this, this, this skill. I know that I know this profession, but God, nevertheless, never will I settle for less than what you have said and what you have promised me in the name of Jesus. I take every limit off now in Jesus name, remove every limit, remove it now in Jesus name. The anointing comes to remove burdens and to destroy yokes. And so there are times when the enemy will attempt to send a yoke upon you so that it will limit you. It will cause you not to advance. It will cause you to stay in a place uh, that you are familiar with, but you want to come out of the familiar. You want to go into a place that you've never known before. You want to walk in the supernatural. You want to live in the supernatural. And the supernatural is not, um, it, it is it is not by, by natural means. Amen. It is, a, it is the part that God plays, that he puts super on your natural, that you're able to do things that you didn't know you were able to do before. You're able to go into places that you didn't have access to. And so God is releasing his favor upon you and giving you access to go into to places, go into situations, go into environments, go into regions, it, go into territories in the name of Jesus. And God is sending increase. God is everywhere the sole of your feet tread. You will possess it in Jesus name. God said there is a season of overflow that is not because many times we are limited by what we see. We are limited by what our senses perceive. We are limited by our past experiences. And sometimes you've never seen it before. You've never seen that much increase. You've never seen that much overflow, but God is going to open the 
eyes of your understanding that you will know what is the hope of your calling, what in the exceeding greatness of his love is towards you. He's going to open your eyes that you can see in the spirit. He's going to open your ears that you can hear in the spirit. He's going to open your heart that you will be open and receptive to receive everything that God has for you in the name of Jesus. We've got to, we got to begin to pray. God bless me beyond my expectation. Bless me beyond what I can ask and what I can think in the name of Jesus. Because many times when we ask God for something, we're really, we're really only concerned really about ourselves, about our church, about our business, about our, our, our community, about our home and about our children. But God is saying, no, in this season, you've got to ask globally because I'm sending forth a global anointing. I'm releasing a global blessing upon your life. Glory to God. It's going to go beyond your household. It's going to go beyond your environment. God said, I'm calling you. I'm calling you to be a spokesman. I'm calling you to be a mouthpiece. I'm calling you to be a history changer. I'm calling you to, to change um, systems. I'm calling you in this season to do something that you've never even considered doing before in the name of Jesus. It's not going to be by your power or might, but it's certainly going to be by the spirit of the living God. When they were in the upper room, when God sent, when Jesus sent them to the upper room, he said, I want you to wait on the promise, wait on the promise. They were willing to sacrifice. They were willing to wait. They were willing to stand. They were willing to endure, not just for themselves, but when they came together on one accord and they had the same heart, they had the same mind, they had the same focus of the promise. They are saying, I'm God. I'm going to wait right here on the promise. I'm not going to get out of place. I'm not going to take a bathroom break. I'm going to wait right here on the promise because it's going to be greater than just us. Amen. They had an experience, but because they were willing to sacrifice, because they were willing to stay, mm. now we have been able to have that experience. Amen. The Holy Spirit now lives on the inside of us. It doesn't just come upon us, but it is on the inside of us because someone was willing to wait. Someone was willing to pray. Someone was willing to endure. And God is calling you. God is calling you as a world changer. He's calling you as a history maker. If you would stand in the gap, if you would continue to press toward the mark for the prize, there is a prize, amen, of the high calling, which is Christ Jesus. So even now, even this morning, I want you to give God a nevertheless. God, nevertheless, never will I settle for less. Never will I receive less than what you have said. I will go the extra mile. I will do what you called me to do. God, I will obey your word. I will do in the name of Jesus. I will pray. I will fast. God, I will stand in the gap on behalf of others in the name of Jesus. So this is the hour in this season. This is the moment. This is the set and appointed time that God is releasing a suddenly in your life. There was a sudden anointing to break nets. There was a sudden anointing for increase. There was a sudden anointing for overflow in the name of Jesus. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. God has chosen you for such a time as this, such a time as this. This is you have been called and you have been chosen. You heard the clarion call. There are people all over from the north, the south, the east, and the west, different regions, different countries that are represented here on this broadcast because God has called you. He has set you apart specifically. Everybody won't be able to take part, but God has called you to do something great in the earth. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory to your name. God. Glory I feel to the your presence name. of God glory in this thing. to your name. Glory. I feel the power of God. I feel Hallelujah. the anointing of God. Amen. Yes, and I'm to telling you tonight glory. that many of Jesus. you on this scope, you are Jesus. getting an impartation. My God. Amen. That's going to get God. ready. God is getting ready to come Shit, into that situation. Sire. I know you've been toiling and you've been come trying on. to do it. Yes. And you've been trying to do it on your own. But yes. tonight you're receiving an anointing. Mm. Amen. An impartation Jesus. for power. And some people My say God. you can't receive it like this. But I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit is without limit. Yes. You can receive my it over God, these airways. You can God, receive it now. God, Amen. It's Jesus your time. Name. And we release that unto Send you tonight. And we declare that yes, tonight, even upon yes, this corporate anointing, yes, that God is yes. causing a knit breaker mm. anointing to come upon us Jesus. tonight. And it is causing all of our mm. knits to break. It won't just Jesus. be one of us or two of us, but all of us all will come us, together. And our us. nets are breaking my tonight. God, I'm telling you, I see Jesus. your nets breaking. I see your expansion coming. I see your overflow coming. I see you 
you're receiving everything you've yes. been asking now, God for, every prophetic promise that yes. you've been waiting on, My everything God. that you've been desiring Lord of God, Messiah. it's breaking now. Every break. net that's in your yes. life, we break it in now him. in the power of God. We declare Jesus. now that you're catching so My much fish, sickness. you're getting so much increase, your relationships are increasing so much, you don't even know which one Jesus. to look at. Amen. You don't even know, uh, you, you got so many fish and so many different types of fish, you got to call somebody else for help. You won't Jesus. be able to keep this thing to yourself. My You're going to have to call my some of your God, friends and say, please God. come help me because I'm catching. I'm telling you, <laughs> I made a phone call the last couple of days. I called some of my friends and I said, my God, I need you to come help me to release this suddenly thing in the earth. And every one of them I called Jesus. said, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Jesus. I was talking to one of my brothers today and he said, man, I'm telling you, I'm coming. All you got to do is let me know the dates and I'm coming wherever we Jesus. need to be at in the earth Woo. to release this anointing. We're coming. Mm. And I'm telling you, we coming with power. Yes. We coming with the anointing. We coming with demonstration. Yes. We're coming signs, with God, with signs, and miracles. wonders, and miracles yes. following in yes. the name of Jesus. Healings, Amen. Healing, yes, deliverance, breakthrough, come on, miracles. instant. Come on, immediately, immediately come on, suddenly, suddenly straightway. Suddenly, God's yes. going to do it without notice. Yes. Your nets yes. are getting ready to break. Yes. This anointing yes. is upon you, and I'm telling you, it's coming. Amen. Get with your Glory friends. Tell God. them we're getting ready to go to this thing, and God is releasing Jesus. something upon us. I'm telling you, mm. I see increase. Pastor, I see increase for your church. Evangelist, Jesus. I see increases of souls. You yes. with the healing anointing. I see you laying hands on, on people come and on. healing coming come to them. On. Yes, the, the children are even getting ready to expand and increase. Your children Jesus. are going to lay hands. Amen. They're going to be Lord, increased. I your business it. is getting ready to increase. Hi, your bottom line is getting ready to Hi, increase. Everybody, everything about you is getting ready to change. Jesus. Everything about you is getting ready to be revolutionized mm. by the power of a living God. God. Imagine what it come feels on. like for the power of a living God to come inside Jesus. you. You will not be able to contain this and it's going to break your nets. Amen. You're going to have supernatural Jesus. manifestation of the power of God I operating Lord, through Lord, and by and for you in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We declare that it's coming upon you now in Jesus, Jesus name. name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, my yes. God, my Absolutely. God, Increase, my God. restoration, Amen. recovery, reset. Amen. Every Amen. part of you, we, de we decree and we declare, yes, he's coming home. Amen. He's not going to be able to stay away. He's coming running home. Amen. We decree <laughs> now. Amen. He's going to run home. He's leaving everything behind that's not like God and he's running home in Jesus' name. In Jesus Hallelujah. Name. We in decree Jesus that name. now is your season Jesus and now name. is your time. Amen. I feel it. How many people agree with me? How many people are standing in agreement? Prophet Michelle J. Miller, I see some of the other prophets on here. Amen. That, I, that we know personally. Um, ah, glory. I I feel the power of God in this thing. Amen. You got to know that you know that you know yes. that when we put yes. our our collective thoughts together and our collective power together and our collective anointings together that we Jesus. receive it. Amen. And we receive it and we decree Jesus. it and we declare it. It's getting ready to be established in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Amen. There is no weapon that the no, enemy no, can no, form no, against this no, promise that's going to stop it from prospering this it. time. There is no Can't weapon that it. the enemy can form that he Ain't can no frame against you because there is no stopping us now. <laughs> Amen. We're on the move. Come on, somebody. Yes. Amen. We're moving. Yes. Somebody said they heard the Jefferson song. We're moving on up. <laughs> Amen. And we declare that we're moving yes. on up. Amen. Amen. Listen, it's your time. It's your season. Yes. There is nothing Lord, that can sight. stand in the way mm. of you and My stop God. you from doing it this time. Jesus. I know that last time you didn't get any fruit. Last time you didn't catch any fish. But I'm telling you, there's yes. nothing that's going to stop you this Come time. On. You got to hold on. on to that. You got to say, this is my suddenly season. season. You got to decree, this Glory is my suddenly season. I'm not I'm taking no for an answer. I'm getting ready to receive my harvest. This is my suddenly season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cast your nets again. That's right. Cast them one more time. Cast them. Cast, cast them on the right side. Cast if you've been them. casting them on the left, cast you've been them. casting them to the uh, to the front. You've been casting them to the back. No, this is my suddenly season. I'm <laughs> casting them on the right side. I'm casting it one oh more God. time, and oh I'm going to receive more oh than I've ever received in my life. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Even in this season, God is not just going to give you oh, a miracle. Glory. He's going to call you ah, to yes. be a miracle. Amen. He's going to call mm. you to manifest miracles in your life Hallelujah. and through your life. This is not the time and the season. That was yesterday. Oh, that was glory. that was last year that you were in need of a miracle. But God said, no, I'm positioning you so that you can release miracles. Hallelujah. God is not just going to deliver you. He's putting you in the place that you can deliver other people, that you can lay hands on them, that you can speak the word. Hallelujah. Jesus. 
Jesus sometimes just spoke the word. He didn't even have to be in the same place, but he spoke the word. And God is raising your faith. He's raising the level of your faith. When you see the manifestation of God come forth and manifest in your life, you're going to be able to speak the word. Hallelujah. You're going to be able to decree and declare and it be established in the name of Jesus. God is going to use you to, to bring forth creative miracles. You yes. serve a creative God. People that are in situations in their body that they don't have certain parts. God said he's going to allow you to speak to, to, to create miracles. Hallelujah. There is creativity in your mouth. Glory to God. Release the creativity that's in your mouth. Speak to the thing. Speak to those things that be not as though they were and they will be in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. The anointing yes. of the Lord, Lord, I feel it. My I feel God. It. I feel Lord, it. I'm telling you. Somebody Thank said, I need Lord. a miracle. It's yours. It's Amen. yours. Hallelujah. You are the miracle. Glory you are the miracle. Your life is mm. the miracle. Glory to your name. Yes. Yes. Your life is the miracle. Your life is the miracle. Somebody just said that one of their family members is in a coma. I'm Jesus. telling you, I laid hands on my grandmother and I wasn't even in the place with God that I am now. I laid hands on her several years ago and she had a heart, she had two, she had a heart attack and two strokes. Mm. And when I got to that hospital, I flew in from Hawaii. And yes. when I laid hands on her two weeks later, she was walking. We had another man that was in a coma and we laid hands on him. He was in Shan Hospital. And when we laid hands on him and prayed for him and decreed over him and declared over him, yes. and we had been praying and fasting, Hi, we Lord. saw God do something for him. Amen. Yes. I'm telling you, you've been working on your business and the first year you didn't make any money. The second year, I hear that for somebody. You haven't had any increase. You, you've had, amen, that business. You've had that idea. You Some haven't had any right increase, now. amen, and you haven't seen, you've been working all night, amen. That, that term, uh, that, that, that term, uh, you know, when they said all night is symbolic of a long time. Yes. And so you've been trying to do this for a toiling. long time. You've been toiling. toiling, you've been fighting, you've been working, amen, but God says do it one more time. I'm telling you, I got family members that were locked up and God delivered them. Yes. Amen. God has delivered us and healed oh us and set God. us free from things. Oh and so I'm telling you, now my is God. the time. Yes, somebody said, get your oil of consecration. Somebody says, 17 years, no increase. But amen, my even if you God. don't have the oil tonight of, of consecration, if you don't have none yourself, I'm getting ready to lay hands on me for you. And Jeez. I'm going to lay hands and we're going to stand my proxy God. and stand yes. in conduit for you because we my believe that see. now is your suddenly Jesus. season. Amen. If you need that miracle, yes. lift your hands right there where you're at and we want to release my an impartation God. amen lift your hands amen amen anoint yourself with my this oil God. amen begin to lift begin to lay Glory hands on yourself God. maybe Glory you maybe God. you don't have the oil but lay hands on yourself my in God. jesus name yes. and begin to prophesy to yourself come begin on. to declare to come yourself on. begin jesus to prophesy name. come on give me just begin jesus. to prophesy right there amen begin to believe God. God. God amen nobody else in the room but you and God amen begin to prophesy begin mm. to pray begin to decree and begin to declare. Open up your book. Amen. Open up your, your, your suddenly seasoned book and begin to make those declarations. Jesus. Begin to declare and decree. Begin to go through those scriptures at the back of the book and begin to My pray God. them and prophesy them. Amen. Pray them over yourself. Prophesy them over yourself. Yes. Believe yes. them. Amen. For yes. our major things. Amen. Yes. I'm telling yes, you, God. I'm telling you in the name of Jesus, Jesus. that the anointing of God is Ooh, coming upon you right God. now to break every yoke, to destroy Ooh, every chain, God. to break out of every limiting Ooh, circumstance. Circumstance, every yes. financial circumstance, yes. every, every every situation, every circumstance that's hindering mm. you and holding you out, you we declare that you're breaking out of it now. Your nets are breaking now in Jesus' name. The anointing of the net breaker be upon you tonight in Jesus', Jesus name. name. The anoint that break nets of of, of 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 even healing. Amen. You've been sick for so long and you don't even you're like my God. I don't even know. I don't even know how I'm gonna make it out of this thing. You've been sick so long. The doctors have given you up and walked away. I'm telling you, you're getting ready to break their net. Break. They're getting ready to blow. Break. It's getting ready to blow their God, mind. The doctor's going to say, this yeah. is a miracle. Amen. Yes. I'm telling you that God is moving for you now, <laughs> and he, you are my. breaking nets in, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. I don't know how many times they had broke nets before. I don't know how many times. I didn't see it anywhere else in the Bible where they broke nets. No. But God's getting ready to release an no. anointing on you, One so they'll break God. nets. Amen. One you're going to break nets. You're going to the other side, and you're going to break nets. Receive that tonight. Hear my heart tonight. Hear the word of the Lord tonight. Uh, you're breaking nets. Go one more time. Drop it one more time. Release it one more time. Yes, you're breaking barriers. You're getting ready to be a testimony. Everybody all around you is getting ready to hear that you're a net breaker. 
My that you God. got a net breaking Come anointing. On. Everybody all Thank around God. you, everybody oh, that's God. in the same business with you, everybody that's, uh, that, that, you, that does the same thing that you do, they're going to see I'm a net breaker. And just decree <laughs> that tonight, just declare that tonight. Ooh. Put that on the screen tonight. Jesus. I'm a net breaker. I got so many fish, I can't even contain them. I'm getting ready to break nets. I'm getting ready to break, a, a, b break even statistics. I'm getting ready to My break God. it. I'm getting ready to break Jesus. barriers. I'm getting ready to break through. Yes, I'm a net breaker. <laughs> My God. Woo! Jesus. Amen. Glory to the breaker. name of Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory and honor belongs to him. Amen. Glory to God. God changes. He's changed your season. He's changed your season mm. in the name of Jesus. This is the season of harvest. It's not the season to plant. It's the season of harvest. That God is sending forth a harvest into your life. Hallelujah. He's giving you vineyards that you didn't plant. He's mm. giving you houses that you didn't even build in the name of Jesus. This is the season of harvest. It's time to harvest the work that God has given to you. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Amen. Every barrier is destroyed now in Jesus' name. Mm. Glory to your name. Mm. Glory to your name. Glory to mm. your name. Glory to your name. <laughs> the joy of the Lord is your strength. God has called you to walk in peace. He's called you to walk in love. He's called you to walk in his ways, to keep his laws and his statutes. Hallelujah. To trust him with all of your heart, to be attentive to his voice, that when he speaks, you hear him and you obey him in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Your obedience opens doors. Your obedience releases the net breaker anointing. Amen. You may not always understand it, but if you obey God, I promise you, God will do amazing things in your life and through your life. That's right, Alicia. We breaking his neck tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Glory yeah. to your name. I saw name. somebody say that, that, that hey, you breaking your net worth. That's right. Yes. Your, your net worth is increasing. Amen. Yes. I'm telling you, your yes. influence is increasing. Jesus. You get ready to break the nets of the capacity Lord, that you've I known say. in the past about My even God. your net worth, about even your business capacity. You, you, you Listen, they didn't have enough room. They didn't have the capacity to handle what God was do, getting ready to do in their life. And I'm telling you, tonight, you're getting ready to receive that net breaker anointing and you're getting ready to break oh, yeah. your net worth what you previously known as what your net worth was it's getting ready to break amen Jesus. if you you if you slew 20 demons in the past you're getting ready to cause you're getting ready to slay a hundred amen a thousand amen a thousand times a thousand anointing be upon you Jesus. now in Jesus name the net breaker anointing if no, you no. wrote 10 books you're getting ready to write a hundred <laughs> if you haven't wrote any amen I'm telling you they're getting ready to come yes. somebody told me they were writing songs even as we've been talking about this, yes. that they've been writing songs about it. Our worship team, every Sunday, they've been coming to, coming to church with a new worship song yes. based off of something that they heard on the Midnight Christ. So I'm telling you yes. that the net breaker anointing is coming into your life to oh break every God. area. It's my breaking God. every limitation. It's breaking everything Jesus. that you thought was normal, and God Come is on. releasing a new, new normal, normal upon you Hallelujah. now in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Hallelujah. Ah, glory to your mm. name. I keep yeah. feeling that thing. I'm, I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you're not on our Facebook group, if you're not on our Facebook group, get on that Facebook group with us. Get on yes. it with us, amen. It's uh, it's called It's My Suddenly Season. Yes. Listen, if you haven't bought the book, man, get the book. We're getting ready. Now, let me tell you something else I'm getting ready to do. I'm getting ready to send a free uh, chapter of, of, of a book to you, uh, or, a, a free chapter of this book to you called Destroying, amen, the Enemies of My Suddenly. And so I want to send that free to you. And I'm going to be, in a moment, I'm going to be collecting uh, email addresses for those that I don't have your email address. And I'll tell you when, amen, so that I can send out that, that chapter in the book called destroying a man uh destroying a man the the the, the enemy of my suddenly because I'm telling you, the enemy has held up your suddenly for too long. And I want to make that free to everybody. Amen. Yes. I want to make that free to everybody. I want to bless everybody with that. And I believe it's going to be a blessing. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You know, we have a book called The New Normal. And uh, I've been, been fighting with that thing, man. And I'm almost done with it. Finally, after two years, because of you all and the finisher's yes. anointing, I'm, I'm, we're, we're finishing, getting ready to release that book as well. Amen. So get ready for it. Get ready, Jesus. amen, for a new normal. Get ready, amen, for, for, for suddenly to be your new normal. Amen. Suddenly it's going to be your new normal. Are you listening to me? I'm telling you, God is doing amazing things.
things for you, begin to prophesy over yourself. Apostle Eckhart was talking this morning, and he was talking about getting up in the morning and confessing over your mind. When yes. you wake up in the morning, I'm in my right mind. My you ought to prophesy yourself every morning when you wake up. This is my suddenly season. Yes. Amen. I have a I have a breaker's anointing. Amen. I have a net breaking anointing my this God. morning and everything I do, amen, it, it exceeds my expectation. Yes. There's a there's a business that when we walk in, they say, oh, when you go into Regions Bank, they say, how may I exceed your expectation? And my God's going to say, God. God said, I'm exceeding your expectation. expectation. Amen. I'm getting ready to my exceed God. your expectation in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Listen, join that Facebook page. We got a Facebook page, uh, and it's called, um, it's called, it's, it's my suddenly season. Get that. Amen. Get that su my suddenly season. Man, get this oil. Amen. Get this anointed oil so that you can anoint yourself Jesus. and prophesy over yourself, pray over yourself. We've already said we're coming to the East Coast, the West Coast, and, 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 and Central USA. We've already set up to be able to come to, uh, to, 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 to Oakland, California. We're coming to Indianapolis. Then we're yes. coming to, uh, to Atlanta. We've already talked about coming to Boston. We got information on that. We got information back today that we're coming to Connecticut. And then we said that we're coming, uh, that we're going to Trinidad. We've already got the dates for that. And then we're getting, we've already got dates for uh, a meeting that we're going to do in Perth, Australia. So Jesus. we're going to the Pacific. We're going to the Caribbean. Amen. We're going to the east side of the U.S. We're going to the mm. middle of the U.S. And we're going to the west of the U.S. And I'm telling you, when we come, I want to release this anointing. We've talked to some of our friends and they're coming with us, amen, and we're collectively coming to release the anointing of suddenly upon your lives. In Jesus' In name, Jesus name, amen, we declare amen. it to be so, we decree it to be so. Amen. 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 I, I, I really sense, you know, and I, I just begin to laugh even as I would begin to see it, that we're about to put some pharmaceutical companies out of business. Hmm. We're about to put some oncologists, some the doctors that deal with cancer, we're about to put them out of business. The, we're about, my God, we're about to shut down some wings of hospitals. <laughs> my God. Yes, yes. Miracles, miracles, miracles. You're going to walk in miracles. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. People around you, they can't even stay sick. They can't stay depressed because of the anointing that God has released upon your life. Matter of fact, I just messed up because I almost got in trouble. <laughs> yes, we're coming to Tallahassee. Yes, we're coming to Jacksonville. <laughs> yes, we're coming to Miami. Those are areas that we have spiritual sons and daughters and they have churches. And so, yes, we're coming to those places. But I'm telling you, somebody says Chicago. It seems like we have more people in Chicago than we have anywhere else. Amen. So, yes, we're going to find our way Definitely. to Chicago and do some major things in that area to West Coast, amen, East Coast, Central, amen. Yes, we're coming to Los Angeles. We're coming to these cities because we want to see signs, wonders, and miracles, miracles happen in those places, amen. Michelle J. Miller said, yes, come on to Chicago, <laughs> amen, glory to God. Listen, we're getting out of here. Go to our website, amen. Go to our website, www.lejeanandvalor.com. I'm going to get the dates for Boston for you, amen. By tomorrow, I should have those locked in. I'm going to talk with them again tomorrow. Uh, and so, listen, we love you guys. We thank God for you. We appreciate you. We magnify the Lord in your life, and we thank yes. God for the net breaker anointing that's in your life. You know, I'm from West Helena, Arkansas. I was born in Chicago, lived in Arkansas most of my adult, most of my youth life growing up. And so, yes, we're going to, well, I got a friend of mine that wants us to come to Arkansas. Mississippi is right next door. So, hey, amen, <laughs> we're going to collaborate on this thing. Mississippi, Arkansas, yes. and Tennessee, we're coming. Hey, amen. Let's gather the people. Let them know that, that yes, we're coming with this suddenly anointing, and God's going to do amazing things. Amazing. Yes, Nashville will be there. We'll be a part of some other meetings that are going to take place there. Yes, we're coming. And for those of you who have not signed up for the Discipleship Training Institute, make sure you go there, get connected, so yes. that we can pour into you over those 10, 11 months of training, help you understand the Bible, uh, help you understand... Uh, 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 I'm sorry, what did you say? Okay. Uh, somebody said something about the net breaker anointing. Mega net breaker. Mega net breaker. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Come on, I heard that. I had to stop what I was saying. But get in there. Let's get connected. Connected. Let's stay connected. Amen. Get in the group. It's my suddenly seasoned group on Facebook. We've gone, listen, in four days, we've gone to a thousand people in four days. And so we believe that God is taking us over to 2,000 over the next couple of days and 5,000 and 10,000, 100,000 people. people. Amen. If everybody would go on now and invite five people, we're going to break the nets tonight. Woo! Amen. Not tonight. Before Jesus, 6 o'clock in the morning, yes. I want to break Let's the nets. Break the Amen. Nets. Let's break the net with this thing. Let's break the net as we come to these different Jesus. cities. Amen. Let's break the net.
ahead. Mm. Amen. Sent requests to the group. Thank you. Thank you for those that shared tonight. Amen. If you haven't shared and you came on, share again. Somebody said 5,000 by Sunday. I oh receive it. Amen. Yes. We receive it. Amen. It's that done. there is no limit to what God can do. If you've not fight, shared and invited Ooh, your followers, please do that for us. Meet us here again tomorrow at yes. 1 o'clock and then meet us here again tomorrow night at, uh, at midnight. midnight. Amen. We're going to keep on going until we break every <laughs> net My that has been assigned to us. We're going to break <laughs> every one of them. Amen. I just need a Jesus. few people to go with me. How many Come people on. to go with me and Ooh. break every net? Amen. Jesus. How many people say that's my portion? I'm my breaking God. all the nets. Amen. Net and imagine what happens when all of our nets break. Amen. Somebody said 10,000 by Monday. Amen. Y'all anointed. Amen. <laughs> yes. The multiplier yes. mega anointing. I my believe that, grateful John. God bless Jesus. you. Listen, we're getting out of here before this anointing come again. Yeah, pop, pop, pop. That's my Ooh. sister. She says she's coming with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm excited. Amen. And I'm going to tell you about some of the other special guests that are coming with us. I just want to make sure that we lock in the dates. And uh, somebody said 100,000 by June. Amen. We receive it. Amen. Y'all, listen, y'all going ballistic on this thing. I, I believe it and I receive it. Listen, yes. we're out of here. We love Woo. you. God bless you. Shalom, shalom. shalom. Sleep shalom. well tonight. Peace. Amen. Sleep powerfully. Yes. Amen. In, sleep in the power of the Lord tonight. Yes. Amen. Absolutely. We love you. Receive that net breaker anointing tonight. Wake up in the morning believing that this is your suddenly season yes. for the net breaker anointing to be here. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless we love you. you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.